Hey everybody, it's Chris from SocietyofStrength.com and I'm here to answer some questions today. Uh, I got a message on Facebook uh, from Chad Cox. Uh, Chad's a ridiculously freakishly large man. Uh, I checked out his pictures on Facebook uh, and I get, Chris, got any tips on clean and jerk? Doing 225 for five reps and have a hard time getting in the rack position. So I asked a couple of other questions uh, whether it was the actual rack position itself or was it, you know, what, what, what the deal was, if you could elaborate. And basically he's having a hard time getting his elbows up and the bar to rest on his collarbone. Uh, this is very common, especially with larger, more muscular athletes. Uh, this is something that's very, very common. And a lot of times it's be they think it's because their arms are so big. Uh, that they can't get the bar in there. And that's actually not that true. I mean, m m muscles are actually pretty pliable. They will go down, especially with 225 pounds in that position, they will go down. Your biceps are gonna go down. Uh, the majority of the time, the reason that those elbows don't come up in the front rack position is because of tight triceps and tight uh, outer lats. Uh, and it's just the, the flexibility of getting those elbows up into that position uh, it's not there, so it doesn't allow it to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through and show you some stretches, Chad, uh, to get that area to loosen up, open up, and uh, that way you can j just get that stuff, get that front rack down so when you pull, boom, it lands and your, el your wrists and your elbows are nice and open. You're here and everything lands right on the collarbone where it should. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over uh, into, into my lifting area and I'm gonna show you some stuff. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to, uh, foam roll, lacrosse ball, use some PVC, uh, and get this area here to completely open up. My guess is you've got a lot of muscular restriction in that area. Um, most people that do uh, you know, the hardcore bodybuilding or, or they're, they're really, really thick and muscular have problems in that area. So you're gonna to wanna to roll that whole outer lat area into the tricep, up through the back of the armpit area. Uh, so Definitely start there. Let me go th show you some stretches. Come on. So with me. basically, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set a bar uh, high enough where it's sitting on your collarbone, uh, where you're going to be. This is where the top of your, your clean is going to be. Uh, so when you come under your bar, you're going to be in that position anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, it's it's a one-handed stretch. So you're going to make sure that your your hands are on your bar like you would you want them at the top of your clean. And what we're gonna do is you're actually gonna rock through each arm, and that's gonna open up that area that you have the restriction in. So we're, we're opening up, and we're back, and we're opening up, and we're back. And you wanna come through this way to make sure that you're, the, the flexibility in your wrists uh, is there something I didn't mention earlier? Uh, you want to make sure that your wrist's open as well. Uh, so by the time you get done, you know you're, uh, you know you're in this clean position here. So which is going to help you translate into into your the jerk overhead. So that's going to be the first stretch that you want to do. You're going to want to do. You can set this up and do this every day. You're not lifting it. All you're doing is opening up that area and that's stretching all here. So we want to get that as open as we can. So the next thing I'm going to show you, you're going to need uh, the lightest jump stretch band that you have. Uh, so right, come and check so this what out. we've got here now is I've got my uh, my lightest jump stretch band. You probably just look at my feet here. But, uh, we've got the lightest jump stretch band I have. It's a 26 pounds resistance. Uh, it's looped around the bottom of my cage. You can do any any stationary object that you can get under uh, that's not going to go rocking out past you. Uh, you want to loop it down under and around. Uh, so you actually get this loop coming up. Step number one. The second part of this is you're going to want to grab your loop right through the middle of the palm of your hand. You want to make sure that your hand is staying up. So what we're doing is you're going to start out here and we're just opening up that area here. You're going to feel that stretch all from the tip of your elbow right down, right down your whole side. And you're stretching that up, lean into it a little bit, open it right up. Come back down and open them up again. The trick to this is making sure you're keeping your hand straight. 
is as you as you get into your rack position. All right, so those are the two big stretches I would recommend to each other. So, you know, work, working that bar, getting that up, the, the stretch with the jump stretch band. Uh, make sure you're foam rolling that every day. Get that loose, get it open. Uh, and the other thing you're going to want to make sure that you're, work, you're working on is making sure that your flexibility, once, once you get those elbows up, you want to make sure that they're coming in as well. Uh, the, the rack position that you want is actually your, your triceps are even to the floor, but your elbows are also close. They're, they're, everything is straight and parallel to the floor. So you're looking just like that, and your bar is going to sit right on your collarbone in no time. So that, that's today's installment of, I guess, Ask Chris. I don't, I don't know what to call that. But so anybody else that's got questions out there, definitely hit me up. Uh, I hope this helps you, Chad.